Gene here with G-Squared Tactical. Got something on the channel today that I'm pretty excited to talk about. As you guys probably already know, I'm a CZ fanboy. So I'm excited to talk about this CZ. Scorpion Evo. This is the Evo 3 S1. This is in the FDE with the fake suppressor from Silencer Co. here. We'll go ahead and talk about that right out the gate. Uh, basically, again, it's just a fake suppressor but it gives it a very nice, very sexy look. And I think that it's cool that Silencer Co. makes a suppressor specifically for this gun. I probably will not buy that, even though I like this look here. That would be sweet, but who knows? Maybe I will, but it would be a suppressor that would be only for this gun. And I don't know if I want to get a tax stamp for a suppressor that I would only be able to use on this gun, but that is a very sexy look. And you can screw a compressor, uh, suppressor directly onto the end of this, just limping it out here. This one and uh, one half of 28 threads there. So if you want to put a suppressor on there of, you know, other brand, you certainly can do that. But I probably would put this back on there because, again, it's very sexy. Uh, going down from there, you have just a, a, a rail here that is just slammed full of m lock attachment points i mean just just absolutely everywhere i mean every angle on the side the bottom uh just just everywhere for m lock attachments it did come with some sights on here some adjustable sights but i took them off and put these flip up uh, mag pull sights on here because it does have the full length uh pick rail that's made into it here and so you have plenty of room to put your flip up should you choose to change them. Also put a red dot on here, which I plan to do. That's the reason I put the, the Magpul flip ups on here so I could co-witness through my red dot. I wasn't so sure that the ones from the factory would do that. So I did change it out to the Magpul sights. I did put this four end grip on here um, for it is a uh, also a Magpul 4-end grip M-Lock. That did not come on there. I did add that. You know, when I first held this gun, I was convinced. You know, it wasn't until I started, like, really looking at it. I think right in this area here, I could tell, and it kind of got me to looking at it. But when I had it in the store, I genuinely thought that this, the trigger group, the receiver, and everything, I thought it was genuinely all aluminum that's how well made this fiber reinforced plastic is or polymer and as you guys well know i'm not really much of a plastic kind of guy i don't like plastic sights and things of that nature but this is super super well built um, it does have a foldable <clears throat> and fully adjustable stock here to increase or decrease your reach this stock i, I mean just the stock alone I can't say enough about I mean it is a nice stiff stock it does not lock up very easy to deploy so if you had some type of you know <clears throat> shortcoming you know the arthritis or you know something like that I don't think anyone would have any trouble whatsoever deploying this or even closing it up nice tight package there very very well made um, stock here just I mean, it just feels very, very sturdy. There's no give in it. Got a nice little uh, recoil pad on here. Nice, large grip. Feels very comfortable. It's got the ambi safety. Now, I have not shot this gun yet, but just toying around with it, I, I don't know, but I think maybe with the safety off during shooting, the safety kind of comes down in here and impedes into my trigger finger. I don't know because again, I haven't shot it yet, so I don't know if that's going to rub my finger raw while shooting it. I'm not really sure yet, but the good thing about this gun is there's so many aftermarket, you know, parts available for this. Safety, trigger, grips, um, stocks, sights, just, I mean, this just, and, and, and the good thing about it is everything's readily available. Came with two, 20 round mags, I was able to pick up a 30 rounder for about 20 bucks and, and I see these in just about any store that I frequent. So they're very, very available. And so it does have a flared mag well here, which makes it very, very easy for you to get your magazine in and out. 
you it is the mag release i guess you would say is ambi uh as you can push it right out with your trigger finger uh, i have noticed that sometimes the empty mags does not want to fall out they seem to be coming out pretty good right now but uh, at first when i first started playing around with it it didn't really want to come out that well and we'll talk a little bit about why i believe that was here in just a second but uh, let's talk about a few more features of the gun, I suppose. You know, has a non-reciprocating charging handle here, so it isn't a blowback design. I think some of the some of the newer ones um, do have a reciprocating charging handle here, but this is not. And so, you know, again, like if you take the trigger, the trigger group off here, um, which you, I don't really want to take the, YouTube really frowns on showing how to take guns down and they'll demonetize our videos. But you fold your stock up here, you got a little button right here that you push in and you drop, you basically drop out your trigger group here. And if you see the charging, I mean the uh, carrier group in there, it's just, I mean, it's built like a sim like it's like it's made for a full auto i mean it's built like a tank uh the trigger group is it is very very well made now with that said this little pin that you take out here after you do this push your little button in the back here you push this pin out right here to take your trigger group off and the the pathway, I don't know what you necessarily would call that, but the pathway or the piece that, that you push this pin into, it just seemed very loose. So your, your trigger group here would just, was, was very wobbly, very, very loose. And I think, now I don't know if it would um, affect the operation, but I think it certainly was causing the mag because when I would hold it right here and then push, the mag would fall out. I believe it was definitely causing the mag not to fall out on its own, but I know that someone makes a aftermarket pin to go in here that's much, much tighter, but you have to do some drilling and stuff. And this gun was not necessarily cheap. So I don't know if I'm really into that just yet. If I, if I did do that, I'd probably let someone else do it. But uh, what I did was I took a piece of electrical tape, just a single piece, cut it down real thin, slid it and wrapped it around that little pathway there and that really snug that pin up nicely and i've taken that pin in and out probably 15 or 20 times since then the electrical tape hasn't moved and it's still snug it has no movement in it whatsoever so i think i'm just going to leave it like that for the time being i don't know and not heard anyone say that it has affected operation or reliability but it certainly seemed to not be allowing the magazine to drop out here on its own like you see it doing right now so you know and plus i just don't like anything being you know um just loose just wobbly you know the overall weight on this is about seven pounds overall length is about 35 inches and uh well in about 24 25 inches with the stock folded up and it has a one in nine rate of twist in the barrel cold hammer forge barrel as i mentioned the the muzzle is threaded in one one half by 28 and let's see and the sights that did come on here um they were adjustable they did have some serrations on them i don't have a picture of them i have put them up somewhere don't even know where i put them May have even lost them, but they did have some serrations on there to cut down on any kind of glare or anything like that. And again, I'm really going to withhold judgment. Maybe we'll take this down out at the range. We do the range review. Don't really want to do it in here because, you know, with when we're at the range, we're there together and, and one of the other is able to hold the camera while we do some of these things and get you a better up close view. So when we do the range video, which again will be soon, uh, it, like I said, it takes up the majority of our day when we go to the range because we don't have a range in the backyard. So we have to pack up our ammo, our bags, cleaning utensils, tables. It's a whole process. And we drive about 30 minutes down the road. 
go out into the woods, set up tables, tent sometimes, whatever. So it takes up the majority of our day. And as we've mentioned several times, we do HVAC work. I own an HVAC business and it, you know, it's been about a hundred degrees. And so every time we think we get a little break in the action, it's a hundred degrees outside. So of course the phone rings and sometimes it's hard just to do these tabletops. But when we get it out to the range, I'll better show you how to take this thing down and that way Trey can, um, he can, he can get up close so you can see what's going on, uh, with this safety and, and that I was mentioning, you know, looks like it might kind of impinge on your trigger finger a little bit. Um, do have some sling attachments on the back of the, of the adjustable portion of the stock here. I just, I just noticed that. Um, of course you can put, you know, a sling attachment up here in your M lock group on the bottom, or if you, if you wanted to, it just, I mean, I can't say enough about the build quality of this. I haven't shot it yet, so I can't speak to its accuracy. Uh, I can't speak to how it shoots suppressed. Uh, I do have, um, I did purchase a, a, um, a suppressor recently but I'm still waiting on it to come back it's about six weeks out I hear they're about three months now got me a rugged suppressor and I do plan to shoot this among several other uh, suppressed it did come just in a standard cardboard box uh, with your owner's manual and everything it came with this little kit it's got some oil it's like a boar snake some cleaning rags and a brush and a couple little tools and, and Allens and things to do various different operations to the gun. Um, little zip up pouch here. Again, it's just a standard little old cardboard box and you can jump up and down about. And just, I just love this gun. I, I, I don't know. I know I haven't said a whole lot about it. I haven't said anything profound uh, about the gun, but I'm really withholding a lot of my profoundness, I guess, until we can get this thing out to the range. We just kind of wanted to show it to you a little bit today. Hope you enjoyed it. Anything you could tell, any advice you can give before we go out to the range, anything you might personally know, some of your experiences, maybe you had the same experience with the takedown pin and the trigger group there. Uh, talk to us about it. Leave us your comments, good, bad, indifferent. We get back with everyone. We talk to everyone. Everyone gets a response. We love to hear from you. Be sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Uh, that's the only way we can continue to keep doing this. If uh, people continue to watch, continue to subscribe, continue to like the videos. And again, we apologize for not letting you see what you really want to see. And that is things go boom. But uh, hey, listen, the weather's going to cool off. Fall's coming. We're going to get you up some mass range video content. In the meantime, be safe out there and God bless.